Hello. Yeah, we are there. Just Thank a second. You. Yeah, it is working. I can see. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no problem. Um, wow. That that's annoying. <laughs> wow. I, yeah. I mean, I I streamed Wednesday night. And it was perfect. And, and it was fine. It's just, it's just like you've been having those problems. You haven't touched anything. You're in the middle of your freaking stream, and yeah. just all of a sudden exactly. it goes south. So we're all yeah. live, just so you know. I never did. I did not oh, stop, yeah. stop screaming. I, I, so. I don't have any problems in that. I just want to make sure you knew. Yeah, but uh, but I could easily guess. They uh, because of course they're gonna. I, I'm I'm watching your stream, so. Yeah, they're gonna get to see how the sausage is made this morning. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we have to go into the folder where City Skylines is actually installed, and it's not the uh, the app data folder. Oh, it's not. Uh, okay. you, when we we need to figure out where is the. Here's this Steam. one. The, the, the Steam library, where yeah. that is located. Hang on a second. Open, open, open says me. Okay. It's in this tree, so I'm going to open up another one here. Yeah. Okay, C. Users. Lar. Um, It's not in the Let's app try. data. You, no. You uh, sure? Because I thought it was like just yeah. a level up, like right it, it here. Is not, it's not Here's there. Steam I, right I, here. Yeah, I just checked. That's uh, not it. So Steam. Uh, no, it, it's not in that location. Okay. Um, okay. Because there's a special uh, live folder that is called Steam Library, and normally it is placed. Yeah, it could be, of course, on the C drive. I can also see you have a D drive. D drive uh, is just extra garbage. Yeah. Okay. That, that's that's great to that, that that's great to know. Sorry. Um, Try to go back to the C drive, um, so we have that open. You can just press the uh, where it says local disk C at the very top, and then you get back there. Uh, yep. That's where I'm at now. To go, yeah, try <clears throat> to go into program files. Uh, the folder there. Okay. It's a folder called pro program files. Uh, you can see it. That one, yeah. And there we we got nothing there. Okay, let's go back. Uh, you can just use the backspace. Um, then go. So if you press the backspace, then you will be yeah, for that one. Uh, program files uh, x86 is the next one we can look at. There's the, Steam the folder, folder there. Yeah to see if there's one called Steam. There's a Steam folder that's... Hmm, try to open that. Okay. And that is not it, it looks like. Yeah, Steam Apps. You can see there's one called Steam Apps, a folder called Steam Apps. Um, Library folders? Yeah, there's one, that, that one, yeah. So what am I doing with you, this? And then you go to Workshop. Uh, the folder called Workshop. Oh, okay. And of course, I have a little delay here, so I'm. Yeah, no, I figured screen, that. That's why I'm waiting. Yeah. Uh, go into. Let me just figure it out on my own computer. Go into Content. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember this. And then, and then you got the uh, twenty-five. Seven fifty-seven. Twenty-five. I got twenty-five the, uh, the, the, fifty-seven ten. Yeah, yeah, that that, that's the one. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the uh, that, that's the uh, the city uh, skyline snake or number for uh, for Steam. Okay. And inside that, you got all these mods. Um, I mean, I think it is. Uh, I can easily. I know more or less which number it is. It's under 248, but I have to be very precise to figure out exactly which one it is. Uh, that was too far. Uh, could it be that one? No. As you can probably hear, I'm going through all my... Um, Load. Let's try to search on that. 
there we go. Um, it is in the 25... Uh, sorry, 24... Uh, 48. Hang on a second. So, so you need to find 24 or 48. 24. Folders. That is starting. That is starting with that number. Right here. Yes. So, and then it is um, eighty-two. Yeah, that that one. Exactly that one. Open. Uh, open. Have, yeah, open that one. Okay. And then you can see already now that when you open that folder, you get a. Um, you can see it's it is the right location because you can see you got all the loading order things there and then under the the name under the, in the folder tool that's where the exa file is located and there you got it that that one is maybe maybe it's a good idea to actually make a, a shortcut to the um well that's what i was thinking here to, to your disk to your desktop just in case um what the heck how do i do it let's see so uh right right click on the uh lord uh, load order mod, oh, load order tool so and then you can select a um there we go. And you send can say send, the, the the send, send to and then to desktop, yeah. Or send to desktop, yeah. Okay. And there you've got a... Um, so am I firing this up? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. That basically, just fire it up. Okay. And I am doing exactly the same for myself right now. And, I the exceptions and then, of course, it is loading. Uh, it will ignore this it's... error and attempt to continue. Yeah, yeah, it's totally okay. So just continue. just just continue, okay? Yeah, just continue. If it continues, then there might be an issue somewhere else. Uh, try to press continue again. If you get it. there, it is now it's loading as you can see. Yep. And then and then you can see all those that is included. That's the one you have been using. Right. Um, so basically, you need to. What you can do is to go under the to press uh, over on the right side, you have include all, exclude all, enable all, and disable all. And basically what you need to do is to press the one called enable all. And then you will see that all of them are enabled. Enable all, okay. Okay. And then you would Hopefully, we should see that um, that all of them are, are checked now. Then you yeah. can see there's a few uh, under include where it says uh, where there is no marking. For mm -hmm. example, there is under the what is that? Uh, that's the realistic realistic population. Yep. Uh, re revisit it. That uh, uncheck that. Yep. Oh, oh, I under see. You're the, saying uh, under enabled. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So you want yeah, me to go through and enabled. uncheck these that are. Yeah, exactly. Okay, gotcha. And then see if there's anything else. Uh, you can see there's a few. Okay. Uh, there's one right there, and there was one right there. There's there's a couple more I can see, and there's one. Uh, TPB. Uh, he has a. There was what was it called? Um, a little bit further down, just where you had unchecked a few. There is a little bit further up. Uh, Fifty-six, twelve, ninety-one. I think it is ninety-three, uh, one, two, three. Man, why couldn't I uh, see it that? It's called uh, high problems. Yep, yep. And that one you have also unchecked, as you can. Uh... <coughs> oh. That is mad. Like Who knows what's going on? Stop, no. Stop. <laughs> he just ran off. Yep. <laughs> I can see it now. Yep, yep. Oh. Every noise my mom makes upstairs, he just loses his mind. Hey, Dora, you fair. Oh. Okay. And All that right. should actually be it. 
Okay, so then... then... Uh, the, what, what you need to do now is to go into where it says order uh, in the menu at the very top. Okay. Reset and order. And then you simply reset order, yeah. Because then it is setting after what they, the developer and a couple of other guys, including Chameleon, have set as the recommended order. So right. in this case, it is loading Harmony as the very first one. Right. And that is also what it should do. Okay. And then it goes through the whole list. Okay. Now this one that's out of date, should I go ahead and close that one off too? Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep uh, it. I don't okay. know why it's. Uh, what well, I don't know why it's out of date. Okay. Um, mine is also saying it's out of date. Okay. So do I have to hit like a save or something here? Or? Um. You just. What you can do is it is automatically saved. Uh, okay. What you can do is to go to file, of course. Uh, so, yeah, press the autosave. That's the first one. Okay. Uh, yep, now a little file. asterisk went away from the name, so that's good. Yeah. And then uh, you can also press the uh, save settings. In the same, uh, under file again. Okay. Yep, did that. And hope, for, and then you can you can actually export it and maybe have a folder on your desktop so you know where it is. Uh, that includes all the settings and it is easy to find. So you can make a, uh, call it what, whatever you want instead of having it under there. Uh, yeah, loading order, that, that, sound, that, sound, that sounds very good. Uh, yeah. There we go. Something like that, and then uh, go to to desktop, and then do you I, can make. Do I close little... this out or do I leave it open? Yeah, just uh, just close it now. Uh, you don't need it anymore. It is uh, we are done with that this program, and then everything should be working again. Okay, and there it is, loaded with, in my with city skylines. There's the shortcut which usually... I'm going to put right here with my <laughs> other shortcut. Yeah. Okay. So now I can fire cities, right? Yeah, you can. And we're back here again. That is insane. Well, I'm gonna go, just so you know, I'm gonna go download, I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna go download my uh, my bod so that I, yeah, good, good, Demir. Just so that I uh, know what the process was. Poor Z, yeah. he's gone through it with no, me no so problem. many times. But yeah. it, and now we got it again. Yeah, it looks like and it's And it, it will say that and then, uh, so just, and now we can play again. 100% as it was before, as you can see. Yep, yep. 